This is the Albuquerque National Weather Service Open Air Observation Program. This program is managed by the Observing Systems Branch, which is located at NOAA headquarters in Silver Spring, Maryland. The program staff oversee operations of 92 radio sun stations in North America and the Pacific Islands, following 10 stations in the Caribbean. Radio suns are released twice a day, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Radio suns provide upper air data that are essential for weather forecasts and research. Radio sun observations have a broad spectrum of applications, which include input for computer-based weather prediction models, local severe storm aviation and marine forecasts, weather and climate change research, input for air pollution models, and comparison for satellite data. The radio sun is a small expendable instrument package that is suspended at least 80 feet below a large balloon inflated with hydrogen or helium gas. After the balloon is launched, it rises at a rate of 1,000 feet per minute where sensors in the radio sun measure pressure, temperature, and relative humidity, which are linked to a battery-powered 300 milliwatt radio transmitter that sends sensor measurements to a ground tracking antenna. Also, wind speed and direction aloft are obtained by tracking the radio sun's position using GPS. Radio signals received by the tracking antenna are converted to meteorological values, which are selected by a computer, put into a special code form, and transmitted to data users. At the end of the flight, all of the upper air data are archived and sent to the NOAA National Climatic Data Center in Asheville, North Carolina. A typical weather balloon sounding can last at least two hours, where it can reach an estimated height of 115,000 feet and drift more than 180 miles from the release point. As the balloon rises, it expands as a result of decreasing atmospheric pressure and negative 130 degree temperatures. When the balloon expands to a diameter of 20 to 25 feet, it bursts. Then a small orange colored parachute opens and slows the descent of the radio sun back to Earth, minimizing the danger to lives and property. Less than 20% of the approximately 75,000 radio suns released by the National Weather Service each year are found and returned for reconditioning. These rebuilt radio suns are used again, reducing cost to the upper air program. Since the early 20th century, the technological advancements of weather balloon launches have gradually and efficiently transformed the way meteorologists collect and analyze upper air data to further enhance forecasting. For more information on the NOAA Upper Air Program or what to do when the radio sun is found in your area, you can go to www.ua.nws.noaa.gov or you can contact your local National Weather Service.